Welcome back to Mainstream Mondays. Today we deal with one of the classics. It always feels funny to say a Zelda game is underappreciated, and Majora's Mask falls in that category. Probably most likely because it used the expansion pack, which did limit how many people got it, because how many people actually even know what an expansion pack is, or do you need add-ons for consoles, or anything silly like that. And Majora's Mask... It's one of those games that I think there's a lot of people who occasionally play... Uh, uh, occasionally play video games, just never were able to get into because... I don't want to say it was too hard, but had too much of a time restraint. And it's a little bit hard to explain what I mean by that, but as we get through it, uh, hopefully... Well, hopefully people who haven't seen it before will be able to experience it for a first time. And for others, well, enjoy. Now, full disclosure, um, <clears throat> Evil of Evil's running out on an emulator. I do actually own it. I own the original gold holographic cartridge. But the th problem with that is running out on an N64, well, it may not look it right now, but I'm actually doing a bit of upscaling uh, thanks to the emulator. So, it, it won't look beautiful because it is an N64 game, but eh, hopefully it'll give us a bit more crispness. But let's just get right on into this and get started. Brand new.
He necked our ride. That wasn't very nice. So yeah. The Hero of Time here, good old Link, after defeating Ganon and going back to the past, is now on the search for, well, there's no one nagging us to, hey listen, so he's looking for his lifetime, well, not lifetime, but companion on the same who helped him in these quests. Sadly, that person seems to be missing. Well, fairy. And in his quest to find her, he came across Skull Kid here, someone who recognizes him. And you should recognize from the Lost Woods if you remember Ocarina of Time. Nice little touch, and he also recognizes that you, in fact, are someone who's a bit powerful, but he's not worried about you. Not worried about messing with you. So, no, that's good. And he's got a Pona. So, welcome to the tutorial. It's this. Chasing. We've already got a sword, we've already got a shield, none of that has to happen. So, all we have to do is just get right to it. This game basically took Ocarina of Time's entire engine and polished it up, fixed it up, and just improved upon it in every way. Let's look at that. It's a silly thing, but the jumping animation. Nothing that extravagant was in Ocarina of Time, and also as a result, a lot of the small polishes make Link here feel like a polished hero. It just works across the board. I love it. Well, that's a good... Have a nice fall. bit arrogant. <sighs> I do hope you're joking. That's really kind of creeping me out, could you not? Uh, that's not very nice. Wait, what? That's an awfully long time. Hey, quit that. I'm not stuck in here of you, you're stuck in here of me. Uh, hate to say it, kid, thing, fairy, but they ought did. They'd be gone. That's gotta give him a headache. Me. Uh, um, uh, but you, um... The why? The, yeah, you're stuck in your face. we get to the one of the more most enjoyable things about this game. Although we're starting looking for Navi, we get right down to it, I don't know anyone that had a big love of Navi. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have the hate for it that some do, but Navi definitely wasn't anything special. There was no personality. This game, there's a fairy there. A fairy that started out as being a bit annoying, painful, 
a bit frustrating. And that's our introduction to, uh, I believe her name is... I'm I always screw up pronouncing it. Tail? And she's got personality. She's got a clever bit of use. Uh, she's able to do... She still gives you the information that we all know. But she actually has an attitude. And character development. So immediately we're introduced to a co-character rather than just a tool. In many ways I see a lot of Midna's development coming out of her. Sort of. Awesome. Uh, maybe. What I did I was still kind of on the fence. I suppose. Tile. Towel. Nah, yeah. I'm not even gonna try. Eh, sort of. But you're the one who hold me up. Just don't tell me to listen, okay? I don't know what to think about this. Ah, mechanic time. Oh yeah. She's got something to say. What's the thing she has to say? If she calls me, press up on the C stick right away. Yeah, this potty's kind of weird. Da da da, flower, 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 flower. Nope, oh, oh god. She pulled an owl on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in this game more times than you can keep track. So yeah, Dooku Shrub, right out of the bat, completely different. In addition to not having a sword, he has a spin attack, which actually is very weak, doesn't really affect much. When you get right down to it, we're not a threat to any enemy in this game. And on top of that, we don't have any abilities to do anything, almost every item is useless to us, but we have one advantage over everything else. I believe I can fly... Limited time only, but it works. Yay! These are always good. Oh, yay. Dick or not. Yay. Eh, it's kind of useful. Definitely uh, limited, but gives us something right and nothing. But we're able to be a bomber now. Yay. The thing about Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are the only ones that use the uh, Flash Bomb Dooku Nut. I have a shame, I could see the later games making better use of it. I prefer to light torches. Oh yeah, this is the tutorial how you lock on to see enemies from a distance and shoot them and various other things. I don't care about that. We're actually going to be skipping a lot of those moments of hers because, well, quite frankly, they're not that useful. Now, for this guy... It's strange. It's obviously a shrub, but when you get right down to it, a shrub shouldn't look like that. I would ask that people keep this guy in mind. This weird shrub here, very close, there's some interesting theories about him, and I'd like to get to them a little bit later on. But for now, let's go through one of the most enjoyable transitions. That door stays locked. Uh, this place is always very interesting. Hydro powered, relaxing music. Very empty overall, though. No, nothing here other than that. And as we get to the topmost area, let's just have a look around here. Big doors to get out. Gears going up top. Eh. Nothing here, but very tranquil all the same. So let's get on out of here. <laughs> you. You. Agreed.
That's nice of you to say. Uh-huh. Uh, that's great. Can I continue on, please? Oh, you don't say. Ah! Well, okay. That's right. Can you teach me? It was an Ocarina of Time, after all. Ah! Um... Could you not, William Shatner? Th that thing is yours. Uh... Uh... Teleporting poses is terrifying. Oh, yes. Wait, how do you know about the stuff I've done? I'm still a kid in this timeline. The kid did nothing, it was the adult that did everything. Ah! Uh, except? Yeah, you were stalking me and you're a busy fellow. That's awfully specific. What's what's happening in three days? Um, okay, so we have a time limit, but... Yeah, overflowing of courage, that's CERN. I have a hunch. Okay, uh, thank you. Ah! Okay, now you're moving normally. You're terrifying me. Yeah, happy mask salesman. This... There's a lot of theories about him, and I'll talk about them t closer towards the end. For now, let's suffice to say... He is an enigma. In, the fir in Ocarina of Time, he is merely a little bit strange. Here, he really goes out of his way to be something else. <laughs> Seventy-two hours left. It's funny that while in here, time seems to be still. Something almost mystical about this clock tower. And he's got a variety of masks on him, and, uh, let's see. Hey, look, that mask, it looks like it's wearing a hat. It has the letter M, and a mustache. Huh, I wonder what that could be about. But yeah, he is creepy. Anyway, moving on. The only doors in the game that have physics. They move when you touch them. So let's see where we're at. We couldn't have gone far, we're in the middle of a forest. This isn't Hyrule. Where did we go just now? What do you know about the mass Salesman? Yeah, 72 hours, but it could be worse. We could just track him down afterwards. I mean, three days, not a big problem. Uh huh. Oh, towards the north gate. That sounds delightful, yeah. Hmm. Oh, welcome back, Water Lemon. Ah, oh, kid running down here. Hey, let's talk to him. Uh, talk, talk. I'm not able to talk to this kid. It's like he's ignoring us or something. Eh, I'm sure there's nothing going on with him. Let's take a look around our surroundings here. So, big clock tower. This seems to be ticking down in real time. Guy up there. Stuff over there. Things and stuff. Things. Oh. Well, hello. Um, I'm pretty sure it's an incredibly low Earth orbit there, Moon. I'm curious what's over here. Not that I'm trying to bypass a bit of a boring stretch of the game by going to something a little bit early. No, 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 no. I just want to see what's over here. Frog! That's selectable and totally not going to have anything to do later. A bell! Other stuff! It's almost as if every little part of this game is going to actually have something happening later on with it. Anyway. Oh, Dooku Shrub, uh, detail number two. He can't swim, but he does bounce over water surface. This is awesome. Uh, Spooky Wolfman. No, this is not the uh, 3DS version. I do not have a 3DS uh, variant. I mean, uh, a uh, streamable 3DS. This is the N64 version, which I do own, but emulated, so I can actually try to upscale a little bit. Oh, who are you? Bring me apart, scatter my pieces. 
Where are you found in North Clocktown? Yeah, I sort of bypass the whole necessity of... Uh, bypass the whole necessity of going to the Great Fairy to find out that the Skull Kid had shattered her. Just because... I want to show something that's a little bit silly with this. This is the tutorial, and as a result, we are given ample time to accomplish it. Uh, thank you for the offer, Sp Spooky Wolfman, but this is one of those few games I've utterly perfected. Now, I'm sure there's going to be portions I'll forget briefly, but it's pretty straightforward. Oh. Who is this guy who shows up in every game after this and was spawned from this game? And I wish I could. No, I won't be a fairy now or ever. No, you're not. You're not a fairy. Sell me my map. No. You look like a turtle with that shell on your back. Let's nod and say we did. Eh, uh, fair enough. Well, cheap enough. We got a clock. Eh, uh, maps. Dingle, dingle, go, pa! Galoo-limpa! I'm pretty sure those aren't magic. No, I'm positive those aren't magic. I know magic. As a matter of fact, let's go show some magic. Let's talk to Great Fairy of the Town. Speaking of, this is the only time I believe where a Great Fairy is actually sort of a divine identity of a town itself. Otherwise, they're always hidden away, hard to get to. And, yep, oh no, the Great Fairy. We'd normally find her and find out, yeah, Skull Kid shattered me, bring back my uh, piece, which moves around day to day. But we already got it, because we're good. And! Oh god, it's pointy. The why, pe why you should never try to model a female figure when you've only got limited polygons. Oh god, she's gonna stab her eyes out. Strange thing, she's not thanking us, she's thanking our fairy companion. Which, great fairy, fairy? Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought that match. Helping you, yes. He's good at that, he actually is good at tricking everyone. Yay, magic! And now we get to see something I love. Link having no idea how to receive an item that's not physical. First we do drugs. And then, we explode! Oh, bubbles. Yay, bubbles. Yay. Thanks, pointy lady. Oh, observatory. Interesting. Must not estimate the child. Well, he just happened to turn me into a plant! Why do you always scream? So that actually brings up a mechanic we'll see a little bit later that's also highly annoying. Anyway, we now have the ability to spit. Yay! Well, this balloon looks important. Oh, cutscene. It obviously had to have been important. Oh, you look confused about stuff. Hey, I, rep I resent that. Actually, I'm human. I don't know what I resent it about. Uh, yeah. Hide out, leads to observatory, code to get in. Uh huh. Test. What's the test? Line up. Hello, losers. Sounds good. Alright, time to make him spaz. One and done.
Talk about a tease. Actually, Spooky Wolf Man, the code changes. I've had multiple codes over time. Actually, just last night when I was testing out the emulator, the code happened to be 12451, was it? Um. Oh, what's Tally guys? Tally's gotta say here. Super Pratt's games, find them already. Time left till morning. And yeah, there's a clock ticking down right there below us. Actually, something I love is that this game does have a widescreen format option. Naturally. Oh, interesting bit of town. If they changed a lot of stuff in the uh, Majora's Mask 3D version. I actually haven't had a chance to play it, but it's on my list. Mostly for the fact I'm currently going for Shin Megami Tensei, and there's a game that lasts eternity. All of these area shops. This game actually, uh, Majora's Mask, I think has more mini games than any other. Well, more polished mini games than any other. Wee, they, they look like they're having a ball. I'm sorry. Oh god, I remember these guys from the last game. Uh-huh. Well, you guys are suddenly playing the role of a fool. I'll be going through pretty much everyone in town bit by bit. To start with, though, I think getting human is our number one priority. So... Let's finish this up. Come back here. Don't you dare abuse that Kuko. Don't you know what happens to you guys? Great, it's having a seizure. Freaking see Kuko. Come here. Come here. They're actually going easy for me. They they do outrun you. But they're stupid, as you may have noticed. They bounce around, they just sort of go all over the place. The obvious intention of them is to get you used to the town itself. It's a small little place, but they've packed a lot into it. Oh, we haven't seen this cute little dog. Aren't you a cute little thing? Who's a good dog? Oh my god! My face. Oh no, avoiding that plant, avoiding that plant, avoiding that plant. Hate that plant. That plant is basically the sole reason why the looping mechanic of this game sucks. Actually, it rocks, but in that case, it sucks. That's actually something I hope they fixed in the uh, 3DS version. <laughs> More mini games, shops, and other details! Alright, either I'm scamming her, or she's got a temporal bank. I'm not sure which it is. Hey! Um. Possibly? Alright. 200 rubies, that sounds like a plan. So let's start out with 15. Sounds good, rapid fire. Oops. No, I meant to actually give you rubies. So. Always goes to town, just whap, whap, whap. Actually, is that a guy or girl? I don't know. I always thought it was a girl. <laughs> so, 15 rubies. Uh, I swear that's gotta be sarcasm. Yep. Lonk. Special link. My hand! Alright. To understand why this is whole, this whole thing right here is weird, we'll come back to them. So just keep in mind, we put money in that bank. Yay! Uh huh. What's that supposed to mean? Great, I'm dealing with racists. Guess what? We got to do a second time. Why does that seem to be a running theme around here? Someone not human causing problems. Huh. I wonder who. Oh, code.
Oh my god, we locked out. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> eh, my brain broke. For a second, I thought we got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 1, 3, 5, 2. Someone remember that for me, because my brain ain't gonna. 4, 1, 3, 5, 2. From my understand, if I remember correctly, we don't actually keep the code, and we have to catch these little brats again to actually figure out what it is. 4, 3, 1, 5, 2. 4, 3, 1, 5, 2. Uh huh. Secret code. In the wait, what? What was four three one five two? Four three one five. Great. I've uh. Hmm. Four, three, two, five, one. Guys, you can see my genius in action. I do love that clock, though. Come on. Come on. Hey, you, I'm stupid. One five two, four three two five one. Oh god! I believe there's twenty five different possible combinations of this one. All right. Four three two five one, possibly. Let's start with a four. Four, two, one, five, three. Oh god, you guys. If that. F We've met with a terrible fate. A combination to a locker. Uh, hmm. I don't think the game accounted for anyone being this stupid. Uh, oh wait, it was, that's right, it was, uh, four, one, it's gotta be three, five, two. We made it! Our biggest enemy, a kid. With any luck, that's the most trouble we're gonna have in this game, remembering numbers. Thankfully, we don't have to come this way often. Weird little tunnel area. Dooku Shrub's got one little thing that I love. You're able to fast forward his jumping just by spinning. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Eh, I'm sure it can't be anything dangerous. Oh no, a spider. No, no, live and let Lee live, even if I hate spiders. Eh, I don't have the right methods to easily kill him. I don't feel like dealing with his back. Eh, I don't. Feeling a little bit low on stuff here. Come on, potion. There they are. Gotta top off. Gotta spit better. This is probably one of the areas that more or less absolutely require the expansion pack, because... Alright, we just went through an area that's got its own little sound effects and everything, and we walk through here, and... No loading screen. Oh yeah, I'm well versed in killing those things. They're always just tedious and annoying. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Uh, zooming in first person to show, this clock is everywhere. Actually, it's kind of a cool clock design. Huh, let's talk to you. What do you have to say? You're moving a lot for a scarecrow. Time will pass. Well, we need our time, so no dancing. 
I'll remember that. Alright. But the real reason I wanted to talk to you, by the way, mysterious song to manipulate the flow of time. Do I want to learn it? Sure, knowing songs are always good. Listen up. If you want to play that strange song backwards, you can slow the flow of time. If you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song. Written by you better. He didn't teach us Jack. Actually, as a kid, I have to admit, I was not nearly as clever as I should have been. The first time I was playing that, I heard that, and I was fully expecting to learn a song that would have all those abilities. I wasn't using common sense, but we'll get to that shortly. We're still a scrub, so we don't have the ocarina just yet. Hello! Technically... Say that again, I'll spit on you. Now you're creeping me up, buddy. Wow, he gets around. How do you happen to know that? Um... Sure... Oh, I love this design. This is probably the best clock tower ever existing in a game. Oh, look, there's something moving on top of it. Eh, I'm sure that's not important for now. Let's have a look around at this thing. Behold the face of the moon. Actually, Spooky Wolfman, you don't need to learn anything from the Scarecrow. You know, all you need it for is to uh, play a song for him so you can make him show up at times. But there's nothing you actually need to teach him. You're a weird one. So, there's a mountain over there. There's something in that direction probably low, probably to see. Woods over there. And something behind us as well. Eh. Not Death Mountain Mountain. Well, what's that on top of the clock? Oh, it's a cutscene. I noticed that this, this uh, telescope moves a lot easier on its own in the cutscene. And... Bash. How? It's at a 90 degree bend. Telescopes do not work that way. Yeah, 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 I'm going for you, buddy. Uh, uh, it's raining men. Why is the moon crying? That's the question you have? Oh, that's interesting. Eve of the carnival. And what's the carnival? Oh, yeah, second place in like, what, three days? We got a moon here. Go us. Now, this brings up to an interesting little bit of a problem, and I think this is where people initially start having problems with this game. It's not necessarily hard to a lot of us who have gamer sense, but you have to keep in mind Zelda and a lot of Nintendo games are played casually. They're just sort of something that someone who plays a game every once in a few years will pick up. And if you're someone who just bought this, hasn't been playing a lot of games, the fact that you haven't saved yet could be devastating. If you got lost, if you didn't know what to do, if you just paused, if you went to make yourself a sandwich without any concept that your timer was ticking down, you could be doomed right now. Uh, just because when the moon hits, we haven't saved. We don't have the ability to save. We don't even have the ability to do a quick save. Um, if anything, the ability to have an emulator running of save states is better, but again, someone playing this casually, they don't have any of that. So yeah, this game, and that's overall one of the biggest problems, not the one that I have, but I think a lot of people did encounter. It, was, it wasn't too necessarily hard. All the puzzles are straightforward Zelda stuff, but there's a time restriction. And the fact that all your progress on a puzzle gets reset when you go back, it guarantees that you're not going to actually have the means to really deal with it all. 
So I think that threw a lot of people for a loop. Alright, now uh, let's enjoy a cutscene again. He came from the clock tower. Why did you come from the clock tower? Also, this dick keeps coming from the clock tower. Every cycle, he is at this plant. If you come near this plant, you will see this cutscene. Every forsaken time! This plant is my bane. I have to avoid it every time except when I want to summon him. So, your private plant. Huh. Oh. Moon tier. His wife would love it. He wants to move. He want, he's offering his flower. Dog. Moon tear. Come here. Let's see if I can make this happen. Come on. Dog. There we go. I hate the dog more. Dog! If you have a moon tear, his wife would love it. He's offering his flower. Tear him. Eh, possibly. Oh, look, I don't have an option. A deed! Huh, yeah, obviously, that deed's incredibly important. Uh huh. Sounds like a plan. I'm sure I was trying to figure out how it actually has value. And now he soars off into the distance, never to be seen again. It's a long jerk. Alright, so, ooh, I love this effect. The screen getting zoomed in as the timer ticks down. Oh, that sound effect, it's so ominous but so good. So, the clock tower opens up on the eve of the carnival, and that's where we need to be. End of tutorial, we're done. We finished the entire thing before the second day started. And that was with us taking our time, dragging our heels. Tutorial done. Um, hmm. Well, there's one main game we could do, but frankly, I'd rather take a more humanoid appearance. Well, thanks a lot, Spooky Wolfman. And look, on the second day, it began to rain. Oh yeah, they open a little bit later. So, let's take a shortcut. So the inn itself isn't opening till 8, and, well, it's turning 8 now, but this door's always open. Hello! You look lost in confusion. Hello, lady! Really creepy lady. Uh, name's Link. Alright. Uh, Four Giants. Four Giants is it? Uh, Long, yes, that sounds great. Uh huh, an interesting story. The Four Giants lived among them, very nice. Uh huh. Oh, sleep. Very interesting. The, the clear voice. Yeah, that sounds. <laughs> what, what, what? What? So, yeah, she's apparently so bad at storytelling, we fall asleep. As for chatting, it's welcome, it's nice, but at the same time, I enjoy you guys are there most of all. No bubbles inside the house, see? Can't do it. Uh, 
Ah, the music. It's gone a bit more sinister, hasn't it? As time comes closer to the end, the panic builds. And he's looking a lot bigger, ain't he? I'm getting a distinct feeling that Free Day Limitation wasn't for the Happy Mask Salesman. There's something else going on here. Something far more sinister. No, well, this has been getting built up quite well. Designed to connect us to the entrance over there. Hey! Ah! What do you have to say? He's scared. Actually, there's a lot less people in town, too. Oh yes, that fool. Look, I can make him dance. He wants us to go find our parents and leave town together. What do you have to say? Remember your Dooku, so why don't you try using this Dooku flower? Yeah, she basically just wants me to use the flower, which is pointless right now, so yes. Everyone's leaving. But they've still got that thing to finish. If they don't finish it, then, uh... However, will they access the clock tower? Oh, something else that I love? If you do watch carefully, that moon is just ever so slowly getting closer. Throughout all three days. Oh, you. Oh, here. He likes to move it. Ah, I'm invincible. Quite a flower. Let's see. Don't think we can quite reach this. Nope. And Dooku Link can't grab. Oh, do not get me started on Final Fantasy VII. I can be here all day just talking about it. Hey, bit of an earthquake going on. Bit of 2012 stuff going on here. Oh, yeah. Added interest? On the third day, those guys are watching the moon. It's just beautiful. Everyone is filled with terror. Oh, that would have been useful earlier. Dick. So, everyone in town's terrified. But we've got a still bit of time to pass. So, he's looking for music, time will pass. Dance until night. Let's rock. Oh god, he gave me LSD. I have no idea what's going on right now. I suppose this thing that Lost Woods music's playing, because guess what I feel? Twelve hours remain. Still full of energy. That sounds great. How? You're rooted in the ground. Mysterious song. No, pretty good. And he's gone. How? What? The Mighty Q. I do not have the 3DS version of this. I do plan to get it. The This is pro well, my top Zelda game and one of my favorite games of all time as a, as a whole. So I do have intense plans to get it, but I don't have a streaming 3DS. Otherwise, I'd be playing it right now. As a result, I'm playing it old school style. Well, emulator that allows me for upscaling of some details. And he's gone even closer. There isn't really much to say. The town is closed down. There's no more workers here. There's a terrified soldier trying to protect the populace. And keep me in. And... Our big old friend, the moon. They did say on the eve of the festival uh, that the tower would open up. So we're about five hours out. Oh, what do you have to say, Mr. Foreman? Yeah, that would be nice. Oh. Oh. So yeah, 
in the end, even all of his workers ran away and the tower is completed. And that's actually something else that's a bit evil. Although they sort of explicitly say various things and give you all the tools to get the places and whatnot, there's nothing that explicitly says the tower isn't going to be completed and you're going to have to find a way in the clock tower yourself. It's, again, it's that whole thing of, from someone who doesn't play games, I could see how this could hang them up. And it's really the biggest... I don't want to say flaw of the game, but it's the biggest reason why I think a lot of people sort of wrote this one off. Whereas Ocarina of Time is praised as the best. Although that's heavily nostalgic speaking, and oh, it's getting close. It's so close now, you can easily see it actually getting closer. Just a little bit terrifying. So, we've got to wait to the knife's edge of time. And I'm not so worried about that mask salesman leaving at the third day. I'm more worried about something else happening at that third day. And we still haven't saved. And for some reason, I don't think a fairy would help us with that. One hour left. As it just keeps getting closer. And it's at this point in the game you actually realize the scale of the moon that's coming on down. This is not something small. Huh? So what's happened to the clock tower now that it's striking midnight? Quite a celebration. I mean, look at the look at how the stuff that they put in. By even today's standards, something like this would be amazing. Quite a celebration they had planned for today. Shame that uh, a few things happened to get in the way, and the, probably the best music of the game. This this final few hours, it just has a essence of hopelessness, the fact that there's nothing that anyone can do. The end times are coming, and despite people's best efforts, be it resisting fate or trying to save the ones that you love dear, and none of it matters in the end. Everyone's fled, given up, or prepared themselves for the inevitable. There is no avoiding this. And the music embraces that. This is the ultimate song of despair. On a day that's supposed to be a major celebration. We just hope we we just gotta hope that we can do something, anything. We're the hero of time, but we're out of time. We have no options. Well, let's keep pushing forward and hope for the best. And thus, on top of the clock tower, on the day of the celebration, we meet with an old friend. back please oh hey you don't sound panicked at all that sounds good eh? the f four swamp mountain ocean canyon where are you talking about ah eh? That's not very nice. Um, yeah, that was a bit far. That's... you're... 
Duh. Hard to miss. It doesn't need your encouragement. I'm pretty sure it's doing a good job on its own. You can stop calling down the thunder. Yeah, Link doesn't look very thrilled about this. Alright, so what's our plan of attack? Uh, we have no items. I'm pretty sure he won't take a deed. Um, what could we possibly do versus someone who's able to call enough power to bring the moon down? We'll blow bubbles. Yay. Oh, he apparently was not expecting that. And a rock arena! The famed ocarina of time! I have no idea how that could possibly help in the slightest, but... Well, went out of ideas! Yay! We got an ocarina! We don't even have a mouth that can fit this thing! Zelda, help me! You know more than this sort of stuff! Oh, Zelda, please. Yeah, I gotta find Navi. Yeah, I liked her actually more than any of the fans did, so going after her. Well, considering the reincarnations that both of us kind of go through, it's going to be a few million years. Yeah, it was cool, and then the whole Ganon thing happened. Trust me, it'll happen. Oh, what's that? Oh, permanently? You're too kind. At least this time you're not throwing into the river. What song? What possible song could the Hero of Time use? Oh yeah, we only happened to play this a few million times before. How hard could it be to remember? Whoops. I do love that you can just completely screw up this touching cutscene by doing that. Anyway, let's get it right this time. The Song of Time. Ah, how would the Song of Time help the Hero of Time? I, interesting memory, but I have no idea how it could possibly be of any use to us. Oh well, now loaded up with an instrument and a bubble, let's see if we can do something about all this problems. Goddess of Time. Anyway, back to the present. There's a goddamn moon. Yeah, good call. I like you. Better than Navi. Uh, hey, don't mock the Ocarina. Hey, Ocarina. Yeah, time would be useful. Time time is good. Time would be grand. So, things counting down. Bubble! Oh, great. We just annoyed him. He, does, he isn't even taking us as a threat. Uh, yep, we can't throw those high enough. So, we have an Ocarina. And we have a song. What could those two things possibly do? Well, let's see if we can somehow lock and load this into our mouth. Behold, we are the horn section. Dawn of the first day. I'd say we could use some more time.
And will you look at that? We managed to go from an utterly hopeless situation to a piece of time much more safe, reliable. We were doomed. The end of the world was coming. There was no chance of possibly being able to stop Skull Kid. We had nothing that could possibly counter him. And now... We got time. We have hope. Oh yeah! And the mask salesman offered a bit of help. As creepy as he was, help is help. So let's go have a look. Sure thing, uh, rapid fire vaults. Oh, speaking of things that are interesting, time outside, time is still in here. If you ever want to pause the game without pausing it, this is the one spot where you can do so. Only spot out of it all. And who, who would have guessed he made it his home? Something's just not right about this guy. But let's see what he can do to possibly help us. Ah, uh, yeah. Ocarinas are nice. Ah! Can you please stop it, please stop it, please stop it. What? what the, I looked around the room. There was nothing. Where? Uh, how? What? Uh, what? You're playing free notes out of a thousand. You're lucky it's a really good theme. Well, horn section. Da -da -da -da. Music soothes the soul. And lo and behold, for our troubles, we got a mask. And a body. The body is the more important part. Well, useful that you know it then, sir. Uh, hopefully not, because that means we're running into trouble, but possibly. Yay! Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, Memento. We won't totally be using this in twisted, horrible ways. Freedom! Horrible, horrible freedom! Yep, thank you very much, sir. Um. Oh. Yeah. That mask. Yeah, that mask that I promised you. Yeah, that one. Not. Um. My bad. Uh oh. Ah! Get off! Get him off! Get him off me! I'm oh, sorry. Uh, yes, I kind of saw it, Moon. It's a creepy sucker. It's actually creepier than you are. Ancient tribe and hatching rituals. That doesn't sound friendly. Evil and wicked power bestowed upon the one that wears a mask. I think I can second that. According to legend. Well, that looks like apocalyptic. 
Still doesn't shadow forever, pre preventing its misuse. Um, no one tr knows the nature of the mass true power. Um, so tell me. Yeah, this is where we start getting into the information about the creepy mask salesman here. He had Majora's Mask that was sealed away, designed to be hidden forever from an ancient tribe, and he had it. It has the power to call down the moon to end the world, and he has it. This guy is not normal. He knew to leave in three days. He knew to countdown timer. He knew to follow us. Nothing is normal about this guy. There's something off about him. And I just can't touch more on him until we get to the very end of the game. But there's some interesting theories. He's definitely one of the most creative characters in any game. And you want it back. Yeah, he's not very nice, is he? It sounds less like begging and more like forcing. Okay, now it's full-blown begging. This guy is terrible. Thank you! Stop doing that. I didn't even say yes. Okay. Not like I have much option. End of the world or I get your mask back. I believe in my music. Yep. Ooh. Didn't bring it up before, but something else that I love. That's the Hyrulean Shield. I have it by default, and I know how to use it correctly. I'm not just becoming Turtle Man like an Ocarina of Time. Yep. That's quite a mask. Just outside now. Huh. Funny that. Huh, no clue. Guess we'll have to see him. Skip some foreign stuff. Yeah, when the moon's coming down on you, you don't have much time. And in direction of the swamp. Sounds great. But first... There was something I remember. A scarecrow telling me a song that could adjust time and play double speed can skip time or play backwards can, well... can make things a bit easier for us. Eh, yeah, best of luck with that rapid fire. And thus, we just doubled the time we have. Everything's moving, well, time is moving at half speeds. Enemies, sadly, still move at regular. But scripted events, like, uh, this kid in the mask over here, who obviously has no important roles at all, are now moving half speed. It's a nice little touch that all the scheduled things have actually slowed down as well. So anyway, we got up this. We can, with magic power, do this. Wait, it only goes up to tier one? Oh yeah, I gotta expand it to get tier two. Although I can also do that which didn't cost any mana. All you have to do, and this is something I noticed a lot of people don't know because I don't think it's explicitly told anywhere, spin the joystick when attacking, you can go straight into the spin attack. Uh-huh. Hello. He didn't let me up before because I was a helpless kid. Another child to go out and a sword. I like this guy. He respects my authority. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. There's something critical we need to do. And you get a whack. This is how we quick save. We can just normally talk to this. It has another purpose later, though, which is why we're opening up now. Doggy doesn't seem to mind me.
So things have opened up quite a bit to us. Oh, that thing. Oh, I hate that thing. So the general rule of thumb with this game is there's two parts to every dungeon. There's the act of getting into dungeon, then there's the act of the dungeon itself. And the act of getting into the dungeon is something you usually get a tool or song or whatnot to repeat easily. Mine. So... As a result, you usually spend one day cycle to get in there and a second day cycle to complete it. So we get a flower over here. Beep up. Oh, this looks... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that didn't give me nightmares as a child or anything. I'm on top of the world! Thankfully taking off is a much nicer, friendlier process. Oh, what's that? Oh. That kind of looks like Skull Kid. And a little dark light and a little bright light. That doesn't look very nice. No. Something's better than nothing, I suppose. Any port in a storm. <laughs> a childlike innocence. So, prior to getting Majora's Mask, he was just a bit of a tricky, sometimes annoying, but overall harmless, friendly kid who missed his friends. It's something I like. I will flat out spoil this and say right now. This is one of the only Zelda games where Ganon, or Ganondorf, is not the enemy. He has actually nothing to do with this one. He is gone. He is non-existent in this world. At least to the best of my knowledge. At least not in this game. So, our enemy is someone who is themselves corrupted by loneliness and power. It's a much different enemy than you're used to. It's not the usual pure black and white. Obviously what he's doing is wrong, and we must stop it. But he kind of feels sorry for him as well. He feels like a victim in its own rights. And of course, then is, well, our fairy here, who was his friend. 
She knows we need to stop him. She wants to protect her brother. But she also misses the friendship they used to have. Hmm. This is definitely one of those games you just look at and you look at all the other games that came out around the same time and wonder... How? How did this one just manage to pull off so much more than the rest of them? Because don't get me wrong, there were still plenty of good games around this time. But this one, other than the graphics, was a next-gen game. It's, I mean, it's a simplistic story, but it manages to have more character development than most everything else at the time. Alright, let's get this off. It's good for Link's sake that going back to normal is easy. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing really important down here. But we're exploring. Oh, look, it's the helpless shrubs. And we get this Dooku nut. Just because I'll. Isn't that Dooku Baba? It looks a little withered. Just because you should at least get a Dooku stick out of it. And actually, we could probably use that. Something I do like about her compared to uh, Navi is not everything, but a number of things, there's a little bit more personality to some of her comments on the enemies. It's less of a pure, oh, it's this enemy, you should watch out. There's also no hey listen or anything. It's just well that. So yeah, just across the board, they basically took all the complaints about Navi and fixed them. They made a character. They made someone interesting. They gave it life. Ooh, and that doesn't look good. I don't think a mound's supposed to look like that. I don't think water is supposed to look like that. I don't think any of this is right. It's like we managed to arrive when all the metaphorical shit has hit the literal fan. Alright, lily pads. It's not sinking now. We take off the mask. It starts sinking! So the shrub has a few more purposes in its life. Uh, I suppose we should go back here a little faster. If we can make it! It's tempting for me to just skip all the various details. Just because I remember... Go here to get the this part of the story. Go here to get the this part of the story. Hello, bird. Probably the most useful an owl's ever been in any of the games. Line. So we want to take the water ride, but there's a thing in front of the water ride, and we don't have any methods to take the thing out of the front of the water ride. So let's see if anyone here knows how to deal with the water ride. Water ride. It's like a boat hire for a roller coaster. Eh, <laughs> well, child, playing hooky. No troll. He's wondering where his child is off to. No age searching for fairies. Welcome to Tingle's Dad! <laughs> I don't have one. Photograph office. Da, da. Um, take the boat cruise. Handle the window over there. Interested? Go for a ride. Hello! 
clothes. I have to go to the potion shop. Kame's potion shop. I've heard of them before. I've whooped them before. And we get to something else I love. I love alternate history, alternate takes on old characters. I love anything that sort of puts a new spin on someone well-known, or something well-known. And this game is filled with it. I mean, partially you could say it's lazy, saves on asset design, yada yada. Realistically, it adds so much more flavor. If these were just brand new characters all their own right, it wouldn't be bad, it would still be entertaining. But there's definitely a bit of... mine. And definitely a bit of enjoyment all its own. Seeing characters that... aren't... aren't who they normally are. I think that's the easiest way to put it. We have an alternate history. Eggs Potion Shop. Yeah! Ocarina of Time! The witches! The cursed witches! Those evil witches! They're here! With their potion shop! Welcome! Bloody blah! Her sister's out! Sister's like coming back, asking me to find her. And she's looking for mushrooms. Well, can't buy any of that because I don't have a bottle. Boy, I'd like a bottle. I mean, why would they introduce the potion shop unless I don't have a bottle? Alright, so she's in the woods getting ingredients. Time to go to the woods to find sister who's getting ingredients. I was told to talk to the monkeys to find a way to get there. Hello. Oh my god, I'm actually talking to you. Lost Woods. Every game's gotta have one. There's only one thing in these woods I actually hate. There it is. Get away from me. I love turtles and I hate that one. Well, at least the woods are nice and short. Hello. Oh, she's looking at bad. What? Wait, I slayed you, and now I need to help you. Wow, things get wired. Got weird. Uh huh. Hit from behind. Let's get skull hit. So she's asking for something restores energy. Sounds like we need to possibly get her some help. As, as if uh, there might be someone around here who's got something that can restore health. Side note that I always found, I'm not quite sure if I'd call it funny or morbid or any of those, but if you came on the first day or the third day, she's always in the same state. So yeah. She's either been laying there for multiple days or not, I'm not sure. Hello! Welcome, yes. Yep, potions work very well. Yay, your sister's kind of in a bad way. Uh, Crushed Skull? Hey! That looks like a bottle! All right. We could also be a complete jerk and just drink it, but let's hold off on that. Also, I think it's kind of a bad idea to build your place around water without any sort of walkways to it. Anyone coming here has to go for a swim. Hey there, let's go again. Yep. Can you imagine this being your commute to work every day? If you actually remember this path, you can somewhat outrun it. I got potion for you. Do, 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 do. Um, 
Not really. I kind of killed you. Am I bad and I suppose? Here you go. Shove this in your gob. You know, for someone that's in a bad way, she's certainly got a lot of energy in a hurry. Uh-huh. Uh, was that a good thing? Wait, that was a red potion. Where'd you get the broom from? That requires... wasn't that magic? So, the lady that nuked me of fire spells is now running a cruise ride. Okay, fine by me. We'll say, gameplay-wise, it's probably one of the weaker things of the game. The fact that I just did that, and if I ever wanted to do the cruise ride again, I have to save her. So there's a lot of these, you do it, and now you have to repeat doing it things. Oh yeah, these guys box you in, obviously you're supposed to speak with them, but you can't get away! Strange powers. Thank you. Yeah, I noticed. The water doesn't look safe to drink. Yeah, you called the temple like one mountain. Gee, if only I knew where I could get a Deku from. Oh. Why do I detect a Melgar solid section? Possibly. So we got a bottle. We can buy potions with it. I don't quite feel wanting of that just yet. Even at only three hearts, I feel like we don't have a big issue going on. Oh no, whatever shall we do to us? How could I possibly survive? So, we've been offered a free cruise over to Poison Water Waterways. Let's take her up on that. Ooh, ooh. Zip, zip, up. Uh oh. Whew. Don't really lose much if you can't make a jump, but it is frustrating. Oh, there's a piece of a uh, heart up there. Oops, let's get that on real quick. Back forth, back forth. Hello, stopping by. Focus to do scroll business. He wants to do new uh, business at the palace. Huh. So shop out here. He's selling magic beans, but we don't need any. So go home. Hello! And it's just a nose! Honestly, that's one of the creepiest things in this entire game. What's with her eyes? You're welcome. Sure, thank you. And it's the pictograph box. This didn't happen to show up in a lot of other games. And I just take the fellow over there and he gives me stuff for taking pictures off the boat. Now this is good for mostly just rubies, but there is another use. Uh, on that. Uh. And I actually do want to throw this uh, down there for now. There's only one picture that I believe is actually worth taking, but we'll get to that. Where's the speakers? This thing doesn't have speakers installed, but it does. Ah, yes, Swamp Cruise. Oh, boy, poisonous water. Yum! Do, 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 do. Oh, well, look at that. There's another one of those weird squid things here. However, will we get by it? Shanked. So, yeah, that's how we continue on. And, oh, look. That looks like a palace of some sort. And there's a monkey there. Hmm. I can do arithmetic. One plus one equals Dooku Palace. Swamp War is poisonous here. Watch your set. Disembarked. Yes. That's a lovely sight that's not ominous. And look, because of the slowed down time, we're not even halfway through the day section of the first day. So there's a monkey in here with some of the greatest music of all time.
If none of you have ever heard of a uh, YouTuber by the name of Smooth McGroove, he does some beautiful acoustic... Uh, not acoustic, uh... Oh, what's the term? <laughs> My brain has gone and farted itself. He... Non-instrumental music. Remixes of various songs. Just pure... Himself. And he's done a few things on Majora's Mask now, and this is definitely one of his best works as well. Of course, it's a beautiful song all its own, right? Hello! Yep, Palace of the Dooku Kingdom. One of those on official business may enter. But I may enter to see the public humiliation of the fullest monkey who anchored her king. So basically, they have a big problem going on, and they're letting me in just because they want to see me punish someone. Oh, they look riled up. Hey, look. That looks like a monkey. That I can't get close to. To save. Acapella. Thank you very much, Water Lemon. This is what I love about Twitch. The people watching you can actually be your brain sometimes. He's got a leaf where his... I'm not going to about He's got a leaf everywhere, though, so... Yeah, so I'm visiting... Uh-huh. Kidnapped. That's a bit of an extreme cause. Huh. C could I see him in a closer light, please? Side note. There's one picture I want to take. I suppose better this than Flower Crotch. Uh-oh. For a brief second there, I thought I broke the emulator. Hey, you look... Weird. And professional. Uh, that's a slight. Wow. He loves his daughter and simultaneously seems to hate her. Da 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 So what do you guys say about things? Monkey ate the princess. Um, I'd be impressed. Ooh. Fun times, fire times. Oh, it's not letting me do it here. But yeah, and there are places where you can actually hurt yourself in the fire. Uh, if you're able to break in here, why didn't you do anything? Anyway, there are places where you can hurt your fire. It's a one-hit KO for Dooku Shrub form. Hello. If by all right you mean tied to the stake and likely to be burned at it, yes? Yep. Outer Garden. Tall place. No one can reach it. Need bean from bean cellar. Live beneath house garden. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, yes. Oh, God. You and the freaking owl. Herk, herk, herk. Let me be. This place is actually easier at nighttime. While it's a very simple, you're in front of them, you're seen or not type of algorithm, at nighttime it fully shows you their field of view. I need a box. If you ever want also a good time, look at people's speedruns of this game. They get terrifyingly good. Oh yeah, there was one other picture, but that doesn't actually give you anything. That's just for... Well, I think... I think you get a little bit of a reward for it. So I... A little bit of money for it. So I'll show it, but... It doesn't give you a piece of heart like this one will. Uh, for free. And of course we're gonna need some water. Unlike Ocarina of Time where it takes a little while. Oh, gimme. Where it takes 
from childhood to adulthood to grow. These times instantaneous. Let's see. Eh, eh, we've got some money. I can't remember. Oop, nope. I can't remember for the life of me if nope, nope, nope. Back, back, back. Off the mask. If um, there's anything actually legitimately useful up there, I don't think so. But we're here. Why not? Then we've got money. It's actually one of the first Zelda games where money has a slight purpose to it. Since you need a decent bit saved up in the bank to get anything really useful out of it. Alright, I'm pretty sure you're just more money, but... In the off chance you're a piece of heart, I gotta try. Yep, money. I think we might have gained a net gain of 10 rubies out of this. The UFO plant. Hello. Well, if I get magic beans, why don't I plant... Oh, I plant all of them at once. Oops, no, 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 I gotta go back. Gotta go in the hole. Yeah, speedrunners demolish this game. So let's get into some trouble. Uh, down. And I don't want to see that. So, hey, intruder alert! Yeah, he's always eating the magic beans. And in the original Ocarina of Time, he could, it first starts out with no one's buying them, and as you buy more, everyone's buying these, and he keeps raising the price on something he's declaring is immensely rare as he eats them. So we got kicked out. What did they say to that? Told you not to enter any areas other than the Royal Chamber. It's a very rare, rare occasion that you were allowed to enter, so do as I say. I love that. You got caught breaking and entering. Don't do it again! So, to the left is a bunch of stuff we don't actually care about, so let's go right. Actually, to the left is a bit of a nightmare. So, we need to get up higher. I wonder possibly how we might be able to do that. Oh, look. In the original uh, Ocarina of Time, my biggest problem with the whole planting mechan uh, planting these things mechanic was give you limited access to places, but each of those little holes you had to throw bugs into in order to get a golden swing and miss link to get a golden sculpture, which is very easy to lose track of. Have to use up a bottle of whole bug at all times. And it's just a collectathon mechanic that did not work out well. So welcome to the real nightmare of this game, the platforming as plant mechanics. This is why I want a 3DS. Oh, the 3DS version. I could I can only think that this whole thing has been completely fixed by the ability to have depth. Probably one of the only times where a 3D mechanic in a non-gimmicky way serves a good purpose. Oh, so fat fa fa thing. Yeah, this part's always probably one of the most frustrating ones. I wasn't caught. I made it out of my own volition. Never mind, I didn't actually enter. Yeah, I will say, I really wish I had a capture card for DS. Just because I would love to uh, be showing off the new one. But, this one... It's good to know where you come from at the same time. If anything, the single thing that would have sold me over was showing it off, though, if I had the option. It's purely the fact that... Whoop, no! 
Why does this give me that option? No. It's purely the fact that it's an HD remake. Speaking of, I do have a bit of a surprise with this, being an emulator and all, that I plan to show off a little bit later. Not this stream, but later on once we've got more of a feel for everything. Probably, I think I'll use it when we go for one of the streams of just grinding the mini games. Because the original texture pack and a pure remake of it, I think is best. But there's something else I have. <sighs> okay. Now, Link, I know you hate everything there, but let's work together on this one. Yee. Yeah. Annoyances, my name is this. Oh, yes, this bubble isn't accurate either. There we go. So yeah, this is basically more of the problem of the game and the time taking. Because like, this sort of puzzle we're doing here, it's not necessarily hard, but I've seen people fail time after time, get frustrated, and they're on a time restraint too, which, even if you're not really hurting for time, keeps a different kind of constant stress going. Which just ruins the whole atmosphere of the game. So this is sort of like a Zelda game that rewards you for being a gamer, but punishes you for enjoying games in a more casual way. Bit of a shame, is that right? Oh, don't even get me started there, Mighty Q. I, I, I know... <laughs> that's gonna be on minigame day and... Uh, uh, I have enough self-respect to worry in advance. Alright, I can bomb him, but if I get knocked down, I have to repeat all of this. So, preemptive murder. I mean, they're obviously proving to be sentient, and I'm killing them. Something's kind of messed up about all this. I mean, they're just guards to try and keep out intruders from their flying plants that are nicely placed everywhere for anyone to use. This place does not have very good security, though. Oh yeah, and in case you weren't loaded enough, eh, we'll be back for that. I don't feel like taking a fall right now. I mean, after all, once we talk to the monkey, we'll just be able to escape this way, right? 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 Ocarina of Time. I, I'm not getting that out for any reason. And in we go. Nice of them to give him a nice area for fresh air. Hello. No, no, that's what you do. You blame one person for all problems, and therefore you solve all problems. Because you're a monkey and apparently there's racism between plants and monkeys. This analogy might be getting a little stretched. Uh-huh. So, what if I do this? Shh, quiet! We need to be quiet as I practice my horn section. I hate you guys. Listen, we've got to be quiet here. We don't want to attract attention. Alright, go. Just be quiet. Alright, fair enough. There does seem to be a waterfall of death coming from there. Huh. Sounds like every place I've ever been to. Uh, yeah, he seems to be foolish that way. 
Alright. Why do I get a feeling you're not going to be going, but it'll be someone else? You look very smug. But yes, I don't want to hear all that again. Yep. Oh, saving princesses, apparently that's my thing. Please tell me her name's not Zelda. Yeah, we gotta be quiet with this. I always forget this one. Alright, so, real quiet. I'm going to practice it back to you. As quiet as possible to make sure no one could possibly overhear this. See? Quiet. I'm good at staying quiet. And having an orchestra come out at the back of me. We'll, we won't attract any attention. Just be quiet, confident, just look like you belong. No one's noticing. We're cool. There's nothing wrong here. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Yeah, I'm sure we're not going to have to remember that this wakes people up. Huh? What? No, you didn't hear nothing! Uh-oh. Well, he kind of actually said that much. Uh-oh. I'm here just playing- Oh, God! Not the face! Well, that sounds just lovely. And does I'm thrown out. What do you guys have to say on the matter? Not that there are any chambers are then. Again, these guys are horrible at their jobs. So let's see how the monkey's holding up. Now that I've been roughly kicked out of here. And welcome back. Oh, well, that's uh oh, Jesus! Monkey? Oh god. Punishment. Punishment. Did I did I just see a man die? I, I don't need to watch this. That's, um... Did I mention this is the darkest Zelda game of the series? I mean, Jesus Christ! I love that the plant creatures have a garden. Or actually, is that a nursery? Oh. I suppose it could be a nursery. Punishment. Punishment. Exterminate. Oh, whoops. Forgot you turned around. It's like the piece of heart direction is a little bit harder. Yeah, let me back in. Blah, 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 blah. You guys are really... You're gonna get fired. You have one job and you're not good at it. Do, 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 do. Oh. You weren't supposed to turn around my way. It's also hit or miss when they can see you. He is a really basic algorithm. All the way over here, because I can only see about five feet in front of them. They kind of got Mel Gear Syndrome 
uh, Metal Gear Solid Syndrome like that. Come on. Come on, camera. Work with me, yeah. Work with me. Bang, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. So, there's a thing for money, the thing for a piece of heart. Money's useful, but heart pieces are better. Oops, nope, 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 nope. Oh, looks like we're getting to money anyway. And what matters? Yay! Hello! Ow! Okay, so we have to find the shortcut to the temple. Hey, look! What's this sign say? <laughs> Woodfall shortcut. Tuku shrubs only. Huh. You know, for a shortcut, it's not very cutty. Ah, yes, you. Come here. Eh, too far away. Woo! Settle down now, emulator. Hate these things. Hate these things. There's only one way to take them out effectively. Come on. Oh no, look. I'm trapped. Whatever shall I do? Whoops, missed you. Come down here. I got a present for you. My face! Oh. There we go. Down there. Uh, that's an interesting little spot. We'll get to it later. This this jump always threw me a little bit as a loop when I was younger. Because, well... Most games that have a weird bit of geometry like this, you're not supposed to land on. Uh, all this moving around, though, considering our time limit, it would be nice if we could get places, I don't know, a little bit faster? You just call it a hunch. Oh! You! Oh, you don't remember me. Uh, not much. Oh, you're not telling me to go on adventures. That's weird. Has lost its guardian deity, but it was destined to fade anyway. That's not very, um, forward thinking. This place is basically doomed to obscurity. Yay? Uh, yes, I might be hanging out with my sword out of habit. How did you carve them? Yeah... Song. Eternal friends, I'm transcending time and place. Yeah, trust me, I know you. At least you didn't ask me to repeat it a few dozen times. So, what's the song that could possibly help in some way? Very shrill and annoying. And yet, gonna be played more than anything else in this game. Yay! Yay! So we just learned our fast travel song.
Oh, this place looks friendly. Not at all messed up. No, 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 no. And at least there's some transparency in the other water. This one is just completely lost. Bye bye, bug. Oh, yeah. That's an interesting uh, graphical glitch. There might be something under the water. Call a hunch. Hi. Shrub. Scrub shrub. Oh, come on! There it goes. Not nice. You guys are bad at your job and you should feel bad. Uh-huh. Oh, let's find out. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Come here. Get in my bottle. And thus we're immortal. Hmm, this looks useful. Ding di ding ding dang dong dong ding da da ding 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 dong And there's a cave over there So first let's get treasure chest Oh boy Ruby at ninety six We might getting full up on those Oops. Well, oh, sweet, he saved us. Uh, did you just walk right through me? Yes, yes, you did. Good thing he's allergic to me sneezing on him. Oh, that, no, you weren't. No, no, there we go. Back before we could target more than one thing at a time. Yep, we're out of here. I just want to be left alone. Okay. Enough of that. My shrub. Get in the hole. There's a cave over here. I wonder what could be in it. My failure. In the hole. Out of the hole. Go. Oh, yeah, there's two things we gotta do back in Clock Town. I had completely forgotten. Hello. Welcome to an ongoing game mechanic. And these things don't look like the Great Fairy at all, which probably is a good thing. So, yeah, three fairies are shattered, and a bunch of itself is missing. 
we'll have to collect them. Instead of just one piece. But let's go back to town for two quick uh, detours. I do love being a horn section. Okay. Clock Town. That seems like a good place to be. Oh god! Grass is weak to wind! We're flying! Dooku Shrub used fly. It's super effective. So yeah, fast travel. It's kind of awesome. Alright, step one. Interpretive dancing. Interesting. We got a lot of money. And our wallet's nearly full. What should we do with it? Well, let's deposit it. As human. So a shrub came by on a different timeline, threw money on here. Obviously, that money still can't be here, right? Except... How? How do you remember me? Fifteen... How? The closest thing I could come up with that made logical sense... Is... <sighs> that somehow the stamp has the amount on it? How? I... I just... My brain does not comprehend how this is possible. So, yeah, the banker's a time lord. Anyway. Oh yeah, fairy moves. For a crazy guy of good taste in music. I can't imagine why this would be too loud in your room. They got mad, now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah yes, I'll do that. Dear guest, long ago, I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a, why could a, why could a man join? That's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was, there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why, why was the, why was the dog the leader? Was it something wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a cellar troop no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why, that's why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask. I stole it! I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer meet, need it, so I give it to my guest. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. I love this guy. He's completely insane. But he's just so fun. So yeah, we got our first non-super critical mask. Oh look, we can no longer attack, we can... March. I'm sure that has no importance anywhere. So I wonder what marching could possibly have any use for. I love this. It only has actually one purpose in this entire game, but you can do these little fun, stupid things. And that's almost true of every mask. Just so many unnecessary extras. So, part one's done. Da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. 
He stole Dog's mask, and now it's ours. I don't know how much of his story I trust, but I do trust the fact he's a raving madman. With a box. Anyway. Two-part process. One. Do this. Two. Do this. Three. Do this. What? What was that? Blood? I hope this is not Chris's blood. Yep, he wants to make me a bomber. Blah, blah, blah. Initiation test. Because we gotta redo this whole process all over again because of these little jerkwads. Same places as always. And except I'm slower now. Uh huh. You guys are brilliant. Oh, this little freak of nature. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Stuff gets complex with him. Uh, if basically, if you want to see the butterfly, the um, the butterfly, the, the butterfly effect in action, he is the one you want to know about. As a matter of fact, uh, let's see if we can get through to kids first. But yeah, this game probably has one of the greatest side quests I've ever encountered. And it all revolves around him. Where did a fairy hang out this time of day? This town seems much nicer when it's not under threat of like, Armageddon. There you are. Come here. Oh, the butterfly effect. Um, it's... I believe the more official name is Chaos Fury, but butterfly effect is the easier to explain variant of it. Um, thank you. The butterfly effect is... Well, the example that's given is a butterfly on one side of the world flaps its wings. A tiny amount of wind is being moved. Just a tiny amount. Nothing that's e visible or even really measurable. Yes. So, alright. It flaps its wings. And then somewhere else, possibly the other side of the world, because of that, air currents minutely got changed. Things got ever so slightly altered. And it builds upon itself. The air currents now that might have gone east to west are going uh, west to east. Just because of this minute flap of the wings that may or may not have happened. And as a result, this whole thing snowballs into a tornado somewhere else. So because of butterflies flapping its wings, a tornado takes place. And it's Chaos Fury and it's finest. Um, well, it's sort of along the lines of... Dominoes. You push one domino, and you can have this thing go and go and go, building more momentum, going up to bigger dominoes, bigger effects, so you can have it do something completely different, like start a car, or destroy a car, or something like that. It's like, it's a domino that you pushed, but a huge, far-reaching effect takes place. And with him, something similar happens. There's options you have. Different options cause different events to take place. And because we're dealing with time travel, we're able to experience all of them. It's just something that's very rare to really see in any sort of games, because none can pull them off. You can usually have this option or that option. It's almost never you get to see the results of your options. I'll come back here. There's something annoying about these kids, and I thankfully haven't had it happen yet, although I nearly did with that last one. When they run to the zones... I forgot about this. When they run to the zones, where they're trying to get through the area, if you get too close to them, you'll actually just walk right by them without touching them. It's like, nope, oh, sorry, I'm going to the middle of clock town. Ooh, sorry to hear streams buffering for you. Hopefully it'll smooth out. I'm Link! All kinds of bad stuff. I'm a bomber! 
Does that make me a bomber man? Yay! These kids, despite making me do this annoying minigame, are actually pretty cool. No, nope, take later. That, uh, yeah, take care. Find troubled people and add their pictures. Only 20 people will fit in the book. Amazing, there's only 20 people in this area that have real problems. Promise to help them. Never be labeled for fulfilling the promises. I got, I have time on my side. Make them happy, happy sticker. No removing stickers. So in short, these kids go by the rules of don't be a jerk. More places need rules like that. <laughs> so yeah, these kids, upstanding citizens, they mean well and they just want to help people. That's kind of awesome. I approve. Oh yes, we still got time for him. Also, they're apparently psychic, because let's say... Uh, is it you I talk to? No. If you talk to someone who does, at some point in time, need help, they just get added to your book. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let's pull up. Yeah, uh, these guys. These are the times we're able to help them, which we already did. Whoop. And no one else. Am I cheating by already putting them in it? Hey, I brought you. I don't know, having multiple consciences running at once might be an interesting idea. Think about it, you're able to study watching television. Although, at which point, at what point do you stop becoming you? Yep. Sounds great. Aren't you supposed to give me something else for this? Or is that just going to be the first fairy here? Oh. Trying to remember, there was something I was supposed to get. Yep. Broken fairies. There we go. The creepiest mask of them all. I got your face. <laughs> yeah, this thing's pretty much mandatory. Alright, well, since we're here at about the right time, only one last thing I want to do in town. And we got a little time to pass on it, so let's speed things up. Bing bang boom. Boom bo 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 bo. Fast forward. It's always weird, these bushes move. It's as if they've got some special meaning to them. Oh well. Nothing I need to worry about. Not like there's going to be some other mask or secretive thing about him. Here, watch. No! No! Link! Here, yep, there we go. Now over there. Tricky part. Go! Yes. And then last. Mine. One piece of heart away. Oh yeah, something I like about the slide. It's a slide. So, we're passing time now. Yeah, we gotta pass some time, but not a lot of time. Just about an hour or so. Probably one of the most pointless, but fun masks. Ooh. Yeah, I heard they did a lot of polishing with the 3DS version, and being able to just skip an hour, that would be nice. But it's not that big of a deal. 
Besides, we would have had to skip approximately three hours. It's at one o'clock, I believe, the events take place. Oh wait, here it goes. Okay, old lady. Yeah, that mask doesn't look that much better here. Nope. Do -do -do. Yes. Sloga. Now let's take this stupid thing off. So, there's an old lady there. What'd she have to say? Oh, she's sorry. She doesn't want to say anything right now. Alright, yeah, she's busy. She's on her way. She's moving at half speed because we slowed down time. I mean, I can't possibly uh, see what's going to happen here. There's a creepy guy waiting back there. There's this lady here. The time and night's about right. Oh, funny thing. If you don't have this song of time played... This plays out at normal speed, but we get to see it slow motion robbery. Bad side of Clock Town. Watch out. Wow, he's booking it now. Alright. So. Right now, we only have two options of the free. We either stop him, or we let him go. Both of them are actually legitimate options. But, he's being a thief. He still gets to escape, but the bombs stay behind. Well, bombs? No, I don't mean bombs. I mean bag, or luggage. Obviously not bombs. And you are the worst town guard ever! Honestly, town guard, you watch this. Why? But yeah, she's able to stock bomb bags at her store, being able to pull them out tomorrow. And she's thanking me with a mask. Who gives this to a child? Yay, lady! And I guarded her and got a reward. So yeah, we got bombs early. With probably one of the most silly masks that doesn't serve any real purpose except to, well... I love it. And it recharges. Okay, nope, nope, uh, that there. Arf. Screwing all this up. So, we're done in clock down here. Let's head back to where we're actually needed. Uh, some swamp would fall. Even better than infinite bombs, it's a bomb you get to start out with at the very beginning of the game. So if you reset time around, you still have a bomb. It basically guarantees that no matter where you are, you've got bombs. Alright. So yeah, we were doing something. We were trying to help a deep, fat-fried, boiled monkey. But this place doesn't look like it's in it's supposed to be a temple or anything. What's going on here? I feel rejected. And I gotta remember. Up, left, up, right, A, right, A... So, gee, I wonder what we're awakening. Couldn't have possibly been that graphics glitch from earlier. Ooh. Um. Careful. Oh, God, the water's rising up. Oh, God. I'm drowning in the poison. Huh. That thing was well hidden. Hope it's waterproofed. Jump, 
This is our home now. We live here. So we get to start off with a decently creepy area. And this is why this mask is necessary. It allows us to just get them pulled right on over to us. So let's see, I don't think there's anything down there except for monsters that want us dead. So let's stay nice and high. That felt good. Is it that one? I can't remember. This is something else that annoys me about the fairies. Nope, that wasn't one of them. The fairies can hide in almost everything. It basically means that... Eh, they get, there's 15 fairies per temple. And while some of them are easy, in theory... Get over here. There's other ones that are a bit more hidden, including inside of bees nests and such. Which bees nests are very risky to actually shoot down. So the fairy mechanic, uh, it's a collectathon. It's not necessarily good, but it's not just bad. It's there. Now that said, the rewards for them are still pretty sweet. I will say there's something nicer about needing to do some work for fairy rewards than just getting them. You're talking about someone's home. So, like, fairy in here. As a matter of fact, yeah, hiding in that bubble over there. Forest Temple. This place is fairly straightforward. Well, it is the first temple, after all. In, out. Behold the mini boss. Oops, missed. There we go. Let's see if you can guess these guys' mechanic. Come over here. Come on. I've got a pretty flower for you. Poor turtle. It didn't mean anyone harm except for me and anyone that got in its way. Hey, you! There we go! Turtle power my foot! Loot! Uh. Well, every other form has a pretty, seri uh, pretty standard open the chest animation. I love the Dooku Strobe. Jump right on inside. So, we got the map. Yay! One of the one of the two useless items down. And a small key. Slightly more useful. Come over here. Get in my face. And that's it for this room. Three, four, five. So, you may notice those te those plants seem to have teeth. Yeah... We don't get along best. See what I mean by the head anywhere? That's a pot. It's supposed to just be for refilling supplies. Nope, fairy. No, 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 no. See what I mean by, uh, Shrub Link isn't that good? Fairy! 
so we're one uh, third of the way done. Uh, this is where the Great Fairies start getting annoying. I'll show why in a few moments. Uh -huh. Oh boy, uh, this puzzle. <laughs> Probably one of the most annoying things of this dungeon. Oh, uh, first, let's take care of the annoyance. Aw. But I like doing the leap slash. Fine. Oops. Hey, I'm only allowed to do a spin attack. It's my thing. Okay. Do you see those butterflies there? They're my mortal enemy. Skull Kid's been up to a lot of work considering the uh, trouble he's put in these places. It's alright. I do this. I got torch. I'm under attack by moths! No wonder Godzilla hates these things. So yeah, they just follow you down as long as you got this out. Yeah, for controller, I'm using a standard 360 uh, control pad. Well, technically it's a third party 360 control pad. Windows has native drivers for them and it works for pretty much anything. Not to mention the uh, controller designs got a lot better from back when it was originally made. And I just use the D-pad for the C buttons, which works out very well. Oh, get in my face. There we go. Hey! Hey! You! Over here! Hey! There we go. Yeah, nothing can really copy the N64 controller, and that's actually kind of probably a good thing. That controller was a bit revolutionary at its time, but still very poorly designed. I mean, you had an entire D-pad and a uh, shoulder button that was entirely impossible to use. So, yeah. It... It was the original one to start the process, but my goodness, it had nothing to do with perfecting it. Considering right now at this control pad, I've got every button ma mapped out, and I've still got extra ones I'm not even close to using. So I gotta steal Fire of the Gods elsewhere. I'm gonna flip to that, and put away, put away, put away. Stop chasing me, you sons of... Alright. Get over here. Get over there. Get into this. Fire. Put away, put away. There we go. Yeah, a launch controller could work just fine. I probably would preach more about against emulation. Except this is one of those cases where emulation makes perfect sense. Um, obviously Majora's Mask here you can get just fine and uh, on the 3DS and all that. And I highly recommend you do so. I will openly say if you're able to get a game elsewhere, get it from the original source. Support the developers. But let's be fair here. If you're, like, streaming, or if you're doing anything else to, uh... Oh, you sound just lovely in that voice. If you're doing anything else that requires you to play something that's out of print and of no way to get it, then yeah, emulation makes perfect sense. I love having a quick spin attack. 
It's notably overpowered, but it's a great secret. Did you stop that? You're not very good at it. A lot of evil here. Emulation is definitely a bit of a gray area still, though. Legally, of course, it's one of those no-fly zones. From a practicality standpoint, it's kind of necessity in many areas. Oh, well, Eternal Darkness. There's a game good luck getting your hands on. Yay. God help you if you want one of those amazing games that sold very poorly and only was really found out upon, upon being cancelled. Oh, this place. Yeah, I, I just love this place. Th this is where I came to love the Dooku Shrub. Truth be told, this is probably my least favorite of the temples just because there's so many sort of waiting mechanics. I actually like the Water Temple in this game. You son of a bitch! Which makes me extraordinarily weird, I know. Behold, I'm a shrub! Oh yeah, my shield! Oh yeah, isn't there a fairy in here? That off, that on, no fairy, we're good to go. Oh, recommendation for... Are you talking just GameCube era or anything? Because if we're talking anything, uh, um... You've got a few hours. I mean, N64 era. A brilliant game that came out that obviously wasn't, um... Well, it was actually fairly popular, but it wasn't one of the games you got with a uh, N64. But the cool kids had it is a old game called Blast Corpse. I don't know what, when I would play that. That's definitely not an endurance game or any of those, but it was beautiful. Blast Corpse... The, well, to give you an idea, the premise of Blast Corpse 64... Or, come here, you stupid son of a... Bug. Blast Corpse 64, the premise of it was... You're... A demolition crew. You're the best demolition crew. And a... Come here. I spit at you. And a vehicle... A uh, vehicle carrying some nuclear uh, rockets was on a course when a radiation leak happened and killed the drivers, so the automatic control system took over to take them to a place for safe detonation. Problem was, the path it's taking is the most direct one, which takes it through things, and if it touches one thing, they'll detonate. So, really simplistic, silly premise, but now you have to destroy entire paths in its way using all sorts of deconstruction equipment. Uh, well, some things make a bit of sense, other things like, uh, well, a, um, oh, I want to say dump truck, but that doesn't give it credit. We're talking one of those giant bedded, able to carry a few hundred ton unworth of gravel trucks that you're now power sliding into a building to take it out. This game was completely crazy. And the final stage for beating everything, if you managed to take everything out, they gave you a post, you beat the game, here's your victory type of stage. That was beautiful. I don't want to spoil it because... It was one of those games where the story, there was nothing to it. The gameplay, so much, and so many secrets. Like, at one point, you can pick up these things for these explosive crates, and you can move them around using bulldozers and such. Uh, using the bulldozers, you can actually, um... Nope, can't get in. Using the bulldozer, you can actually move these explosive crates to various spots to try to destroy buildings better. Makes sense. There's one explosive crate you get that has an incredibly long fuse to it. it. takes forever to go off. 
You push it onto a train. You get in the train, which the train itself can't really destroy any buildings, but you can just drive it. Be put on the back of the train. You then proceed to drive it over to where there was a uh, statue, like from Easter Island. You blow up the statue. And inside's a robot you can use to get to another island that you can use to cause more damage and earn more points. And this was a secret of the level. It wasn't actually the level itself. It wasn't what you had to do to beat the level. It was just a bonus. You unlocked a robot for blowing stuff up better just for going out of your way and completing a few tasks. Alright, let's actually fight this guy mad at my head. Hey, I said lock one. Okay, fine. You don't like that. And the fire. Why the fire? Yeah, if he hit me once with the fire in Dooku form, I die instantly. Uh oh. Spin to win. You're harder than I remember. So let's even the odds a little. There we go. You know, I will fault you fairly, buddy, if you weren't breathing fire. Loot? We're getting loot? What is the loot? That's the first dungeon, so of course it's going to be a lame boomerang or slingshot or something that we won't use after the first dungeon. Except, this is part of why this game is awesome. It is certainly in some ways technically shorter. But because of that, they just skip a lot of the unnecessary stuff. I mean, look. Our very first item is one of the most useful items in the entire game. The item that you usually get in, like, the fourth dungeon or whatnot, that you actually remove the purpose of three of your other items. More games need to just have that. Ah, and look, there's something over there. We get the shoot. I hate the aiming mechanic. Uh oh. I'm actually using the D-pad that's above my C buttons for aiming. So this is actually going to get a lot more complicated than I meant it to be. Because you draw the bow by pressing left on the D-pad and then using the joystick above it. So I'm going to actually rethink my control scheme when it comes to the minigame time. Okay. So we now got our shortcut going up and down. There's a door over there we can reach now. There's also a whole other room in here. So yeah, I highly recommend Blast Corpse. Oh no, the aiming mechanics were bad and i doing this even worse. Oh well, this makes this part easy at least. Should be. Come on. Eh, and the 3DS gyroscope is awful. I never liked aiming anything with those. Okay. There we go. One shot, one kill. And we've activated the water purification machine. What? I don't know how this works. The plants are now non-deadly as well. Th this place... Uh, oh yeah, going back to what I was saying earlier about this game being tricky for a lot of people, you see all this progress I've accomplished in here? Well, aside from the bow, which stays on me at all times now, all of this would be undone if I go back in time. So if I was running low in time, I had to abandon this dungeon, all this gone. Also, I haven't saved. You can only save by going back in time. So if I got halfway through this in like a 30 minute play session, I've now lost all this progress or I have to use the quick save areas, which are not immediately accessible. Weirdly enough, for those sort of reasons, this game becomes a perfect game to have on the go like the 3DS, because 
rather than shutting it down so the television's free, you just close the lid. Oh, you. Please notice I'm only stunning. Dooku Shrub is not the right choice. Why, Turtle? Down? It's like we've encountered this mechanic already. There we go. And as he bounces away... There we go. Except doing this is less than perfect. Let's see, other uh, N64 games recommend. Human. Okay. When I grew up, I actually grew up with a lot of the big ones. So, coming from that point of view, I don't have many, but from coming from the point of view of just games recommended as a whole, let's... Would you stop moving? Well, it's a very... It's a very well-known game, probably one of the most well-known N64 games. But if you haven't tried it, Star Fox 64 is fascinating for all the stuff that it did at the time. Actually had voice acting inside of it. It um, where are you? Get down here, jerk! And the secrets that were in it. And may not sound like a big deal, but that game was filled with hundreds of small secrets. Um, well, for instance, in uh, Cornelia, the very first starting level. Hey, big glowy. Beautiful chest. I wonder what's inside that. In the very first level, every stage has a ribbon for getting enough kills. But it's very hard, you'll find. And even ignoring the going the correct way, you'll have trouble doing it. But if you zip between a few buildings or underneath a few passageways, more enemies come out of hiding. Earthworm Jim... I haven't played 64 one. Um, so, no idea how Earthworm Jim 64 is, but I remember hearing good things about it. Now that said, I remember the older Earthworm Gyms being fascinating. Of course, Banjo, Kazooie, Bizan Banjo, Tui. Good games. Personally, I'm not a huge fan though because I don't care much for collectathons. Certainly not the game's fault, but it's one of those things where pure collectathon games, I'm not a fan of. Even if I'd say, I'd actually say Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie were the pinnacle of collectathons. Uh, they were basically streamlining the whole genre of get everything as smooth as you possibly could do so. I don't think there's any series that could have pulled it off in a more streamlined process. Uh oh, uh, I'm going over there again. So, bye guys. Perfect Dark is a renowned classic. It's a bit of the shooter genre. It's sort of the, like, if you like GoldenEye, you'll like this. Um, GoldenEye, without not saying. Although, GoldenEye, what, single player campaign, not awful. I wasn't a fan of it, but I always have a problem with any, even the good movie licensed games because they don't hold straight to the movie. Oh yeah, the Rain Man series was very well renowned, of course. So it's worth giving a look-see if you haven't already. And now that the water is not poisonous, I can swim! Poorly. There's got to be a better way. Oh yeah, one of these brings death, the other brings... fairy. I chose poorly.
Alright, so one fairy. And now for the one that's evil. This is one that kept me in this room for a one point for about 20 minutes. So, there's another fairy in this room. You can see her from this angle because I went here intentionally. And then there was a process of getting to it, which it doesn't strike you at first to do this. And then miss. So, yeah. This room was evil like that. Nope. Eh, well, that works. You there. Now both of you, to me! Five left. And none in this room. Still in this room, though. Go. Ooh, barely got it. Okay. Time to lay. Time to do one of the most annoying things possible. Notice where this is going. So that we've got a light. And miss. I should probably get closer to that thing so I have less rotational uh, force. Mm. Much better. Oops. There we go. Uh, other games. Games, games, games. games. Germs. Uh, beauty of the internet, of course, being... You can... Well, part of the other issue is genre. There's so many. Uh, the N64 was actually sort of the birthplace of many shooters. Well, taking them off of PC. Because, well, now you actually can. Before then, it was it just wasn't possible. Uh, speaking of not possible, how do I get to that thing again? I'm trying to remember. Something I'm forgetting. But yeah, um... The N64 was the birthplace for many shooters, because now look, hey, we've actually got an analog stick that can maybe not match the mouse, but do something besides cardinal directions for platformers and whatnot. And do it fun, most importantly. Hello, Ed! Welcome to the stream. I'm just hitting my head trying to remember how to get over there and how to do stuff. There's, I'm pretty sure the chest that spawns is from the last is the last fairy, and it's from hitting that switch. Which I can't remember. Oh wait. Oh, am I brain farting? It is. If it wasn't for stream delay, you would have been in front of me, uh, Mighty Q. I understand why stream delay has to exist, but doesn't make it any more annoying at times like that. I I really want to stream. Well, speaking of games that are amazing that you should try if you have DS. The Professor Layden series is freaking amazing. But I think it would probably be very bad to stream. Not because the puzzles are bad or boring or anything like that, but because I can just imagine so many people wanting to kill me as I try to figure out a puzzle. Like, huh, do, uh, do I do A, B, or C? Which of these is the answer? As everyone's just going, Please put the controller down and walk away. Hmm. 
Uh, I don't think there's all the fairies in this room. Snipe. I said snipe. Stop living! Uh, Professor Lane versus Phoenix Wright. Oh, oh. Well, I haven't seen many crossovers, granted. But it was done perfectly. Had a bit of gameplay from each. Probably heavier on the uh, Phoenix Wright than Professor Layden. But still had both, and it was done beautifully. And I don't want to spoil anything, but the last full-blown Professor Layden-esque puzzle that was done was beautiful. And there's just something wonderful about hearing Phoenix take the Professor's role over at times to solve the puzzles. As classic as it is to see the Professor do the finger point of victory. Ah, beautiful. Nope, get over here. Ah! Stupid fairy. No! Geometry that's invisible! My one weakness! There you go. Get in my face. Is that all in this area? 13th, so there's two left. There's one more in this room at least. Okay. Oh! There's Unsu- Ah, it took me a minute, but... Well, I, for I entirely forgot about it, mostly because the third one was such a letdown, but... The start of the Rogue Squadron games, uh... The very first Rogue Squadron N64... Really good, really creative. Oop, careful with that Mighty Q, you don't want to give spoilers out. I don't mind uh, spoilers for games that are several years old, but that one wasn't... That one just came out a little while back. No, 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 no! That's gonna scare the fairy off. Get over here. No problem. Alright, get in my face. Yay! So we have an option. Do we defeat the boss or return to fairies? I, as nice as it would be to have the bonus, I think we'll be nice and beat the boss first. That, and I actually dislike this room quite a bit, and I don't want to kill the monsters in it again. The ending's worth it, and for anyone that's reading the chat, I'll just say, uh, if you're interested in playing and you feel he spoiled a massive point, there's still surprises left. That's just one of many things that goes on in that game. There's many details left over. The ending of it is beautiful as well. It's... It's a Professor Lane game, it's a Phoenix Wright game, it's all of the above. So watch it, play it, live it. Oh boy! Time limits! Just what I wanted. Especially when they don't give me any indication how much time limit I have. fire started up while I was in there, it would have burned me to a crisp. Alright. Now, as much as this is my overall least favorite dungeon, this is an this is an epic boss we're about to encounter. Probably one of the more creative bosses in the Zelda series as well.
Hello. So he blocks. He also chants. There we go. Slice, 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 slice. Come on, do the dance. Dance for me, buddy. There we go. He broke the rule three. Hope to die. Hope to die. Why? 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 Do you hate me, Miyamoto? Go Donna. Oh yes. Quick spin attacks are awesome. Even better is lack of butterflies. Which are killed off because of this. Nope. Please die. Please die. He's also a surprisingly tough boss because of how long he lasts. Die, 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 die! There we go! It's weird, despite his size, he doesn't do much damage, and there's lots of ways you can recover health in this fight. But yeah! This was designed to be a sequel to Ocarina of Time. People who played that knew how the Zelda game went. This was a continuation of it for them. And there we go. Our chance of survival just jumped by about 50%. And, oh. That looks like a mask. A rather big mask. This is new. That's a good question. Oh, um, hello, sir. Would you like to subscribe to our newsletter? Well, you're a lot more on top of this than I am. So it's canon. Fairies or bells.
Oof to order. What's that, buddy? Call us. That's what it's saying. So I think we just made ourselves a friend. Or an ally. Something we're sorely lacking in this new world. And, with the curse of the temple relifted, the swamp water becomes normal again. Ooh, there was a back door to this place. Well, after all that, we should probably go see if we can help that monkey. Wait, what about that princess? We were supposed to save one. The four people. Spirit that was sealed inside the mask. Freak! Yeah, that's pretty good. Have I done this before or what? Again, there's character. Save the R3. Yes? A true apology, not just a I want to come with you apology. So yeah, let's go straight to the mountains. Nothing else. Nothing at all. Oh. Except for possibly that. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna have a victory fairy for no real reason. Yep, no reason at all. Oh! Who are you? Are you the princess? I'm Link. Well, you're kind enough. Much better than your father. Yeah, he's kind of in hot water. Well, that's nice of you. Depends what you mean by fine. Well, credit for knowing how to read a person. I can't speak, so I didn't tell you. You're scaring me, lady. Okay. So we need to take her. We need to find something to carry her in. We need to take her, and unlike the uh, Zora Princess and Ocarina, we can't just carry her, which would admittedly be annoying. So, um... We caught a princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit. <laughs> Apparently, Dooku shrubs can really be compressed. This bottle is now called 7-Zip. Or Winrar. We also got... 15 fairies. I notice that this area is a lot more peaceful to walk around now. Well, I'd say the only fairy that gives you something that's kind of useless is the very last one, and even then, you get something that's pretty fun. But since there's fewer fairies, each of them have to be a bit more valuable in their uh, resource.
Hello. Brought you guys a gift. I'm getting a scream dead, aren't I? Oh god, it's pointy. Hey, lady. Awesome. No prob. Well, I've already sort of got the sword technique, but I'll take it. And with that, I have the power! So yeah, we now have the full powered spin attack. Which by itself is pretty nice. I mean, you just do this, and this, and unleash hell. But this is always far better. Less cooldown, get an extra attack or two in, and you get it off immediately, no need to charge, and no mana cost. So time to go save a monkey from hot water. Ooh, that's a chest. And nothing's guarding it since we killed everything via clean water. It's like the guy was a Captain Villain. A uh, Captain Planet Villain. Loot? I'm hearing loot! And what is the loot? Why, it is! My fifth heart. Uh oh. Well, we're drowning. I think if we get a good spin start going, we should be able to make this. Aww. We got greedy. Yay. I actually do need money. I've been lacking in the uh, Tingle map collection. I can swim it, but I don't want to. And the day two rain even hits out here. Love those details. Uh -huh. Still with the class F guards. I mean, I've come in here, I've talked to the monkey, I've done everything I shouldn't. I love I can just pop her out. <sighs> Someone's about to get their ass beat. Oh, that guy doing in the background there. Well, at least she had a bath. Wow, this guy is chill. Wait, is this the beginning of a beautiful quote unquote friendship between you two? Um uh I don't mean to pry too much, but how does that even work? Nope, never mind, just moving on. Yeah! 
Sure, no problem. Yay. That sounds awesome. And what do you have to say for yourself? So you've learned from your mistakes. Well, that's nice at least. But please forgive me if I ever if I refuse to ever ride in that tiny little bottle ever again. I'm more impressed by the fact you pulled it off. Nope, 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 nope. So we'll be wrapping up in a few minutes here. I'd like to still finish off this cycle. And the butler has prepared something for us, so let's go do that and get prepared to curse a few dozen times. Honestly, this butler is evil. If Dompe from uh, Ocarina of Time with his whole maze thing was annoying, this is almost rage quit worthy. So hello there. <laughs> Least I could do. Sounds awesome. Sure, just go nice and slow so I can hey, hey, come on. Come on. You you kinda don't have to Who built this place? Wait, why is there time doors? I thought this was supposed to be a reward! You're not good at praising your heroes! Who made this place? Why is this not your palace? Why is the very faintly wooded building your palace? I don't lose time for transformations, thankfully. Put my face back on! Get over there! Having stereo sound really helps for this part. I'm back here! By the way, if I lost now, I have to repeat this entire thing. Alright, taking off the mask. You see, because this room has fire, if I hit one wall, I have to go back to start. Like that. One shortcut you can sort of have on this part is that wherever you see the sh Duco uh, shrubs there is safe. Okay, and if you go in these flat vertical area that's not a step, you slide. Again, this place is evil! Come on! That's Indiana Jones shit right there! As a kid, I had to repeat this part so many forsaken times. Oh, boy. Aiming. I'm sure I've managed to prove that I can aim well. Come on. There we go. Why does this never end? Oh, finally. We made it. The rest of this freaking place can... Uh. I thank you! What the hell was all that? Yeah. 
Okay, this mask is actually just flat out creepy. That's the smell of what the hell are you on? Son, he left home a long time ago. Once again, racing with his son. <laughs> Tried too hard to outrun you. Still a fast compared, just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. So I remind him of his son. It's... Pro uh, there's a reason for that. I'll... Probably best I bring it up later on. But it's one of those things that makes this game wonderful, because it's not explicitly spelled out, but there's enough details there that there's a very dark story all its own. So, let's see, what's there left to do? Oh yes, we got a picture of the king, so we should probably turn that in. We got the mask, so we might as well see if we can make use of that. Do 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 do. So let's just clean things up before we end this day cycle. They also offer a new uh, tour here, now that the water is cleaned up, that's basically shooting her. But that's another thing for the mini game day. <laughs> oh, that's right, I have to come back to him before the water's cleaned. Hate you sometimes, game. Alright, so we missed a piece of heart. My bad. Uh oh. You don't have momentum, you drown! That's the moral of this game. And as for that mask we just picked up. Oh look, there's something. As we... Yeah... This world has strange customs and masks. Uh, yes, this. Here, closer. There we go. We captured a fungus in a bottle. And, to the best of my knowledge, that's the only use of this mask. So sold out of blue potions, can't get ingredients, talk to her. Only she has some fragrant mushrooms. Ta-da! And if we came back later, we get a free potion, I believe, out of this. Which I don't really need, I just wanted to show off. That's yeah, so we did We did that, we did this, we did that, we did this. The very last thing before I log off is I'd like to get that 200 rubies. 
for the bank. I know we're getting there. We put in about 95 last time, 15 before, and this time we have 71. We're just a little, little bit short. And this town is full of wonders. This is, while it's a common thing, slow motion people, while it's a common thing that uh, money's never really an issue, that's magnified if you know the places to look. And more importantly, how they get there. So, this, grab on. Jump, jump, jump. Who needs mini games? I've got dumb luck. And thus, we're rich. And that respawns every cycle. I believe the one that's up there is also worth a fair bit. And there's a few other things in town as well. So as long as you know just a few of the not-so-secret secrets, you're gonna make Boku bucks. Hello, strange lady. Best part after putting this in, I think I'm actually gonna take a bit out because there's one other thing I'd like to do. And I get the actual wallet. Yep, I'd like to withdraw. Let's see. Uh, oh yes, uh, I don't know how much, so I'm just gonna take it all. Because, having saved the lady... Bomb bags are in stock. Yeah, normally you couldn't get this without saving her. So it's one of those things where, because saving her, I got a mask, and I get to have these. And of course, there's all this stuff, but any item you have that's not permanent, basically anything disposable, gets used up when you go back in time. Oh, the cow. I want to show something awesome about this. Physics object. It head bobs. Whee! Every cow's head bobs. And Gorgon. Powder kegs. What's a powder keg? I want a powder keg. So heavy, I don't think I can lift it. Huh, gee. I guess you'd have to be Gorgon size to lift it. No idea how that could possibly be any use. Still, nothing else we can really get done this cycle. Without getting into some fairly big areas. Next time, I think we'll be hanging out to the mountains. And that's going to be a bit of a trek all its own. And I have a feeling we'll get a fair bit farther than that as well. So with the forest saved, the spirit of the forest freed, everything back in order, and Clock Town with its dancing troupe, this is good spot as any to end the stream for this week. I'll be back with more of this next week, of course. This Wednesday, uh, since we did Roller Coaster Tycoon last week, we'll be um, doing... Oh, a game that's a bit dated, and there's a lot of newer versions of it, but for the relaxing days, I'm going to go for the original. So, expect a nice little simulation on uh, Wednesday. I'll cue, I'll be playing this next Monday at 5 o'clock again. Well, 5 o'clock Eastern. So, see, hope to see you there, and uh, have a good day. If I can figure out the notes. Oh. Eh. 
I want to press A far more than it actually exists. See you next week.